Good morning, Year 9. This week's topic is how does life, quality of life, vary in Mumbai? There are three key questions. What is life like for the poorest people in Mumbai? What is life like for the middle income people in Mumbai? And what is life like for the richest people in Mumbai? These then relate to the tasks that you will find at the end of the presentation. So for our starter, this is a photo taken using a drone which shows inequality in Mumbai. That is the divide between rich and poor. Can you write down or think of three ways that this shows inequality? Pause the presentation. So what we can see is that very broadly speaking, we have a poor area on the left and a richer area on the right. We have very little or no space between houses. We have well-built houses from what we can see from the photo on the right. We have small houses uh, which are built by the people themselves. Uh, we're coming on to look at this um, and also just a general point about the photograph. You can't actually tell from the photograph that the houses are built by the people themselves. So if you're asked in the exams to look for differences or comparisons, stick to uh, the information that you can see in the photograph. I've just put that there because I know a little bit about these houses. Uh, there is more green space on the, in the richer area. There are no visible roads in and out of the um, area on the left, but there are evidence of cars, roads and parking spaces in the richer area on the right. So every city will have inequality, which is the divide between rich and poor. But Mumbai is a city that has lots of inequality. It is the wealthiest city in India, wealthier than the capital city, which is New Delhi. It has the highest number of billionaires and millionaires among all cities in India. It is an expensive city to live in. So if you were to rent a property, it would be similar to New York or London. And there are extremes of wealth. About 42% of people living in Mumbai will live in slums, such as shown in this photo. So what is life like for the poorest people in Mumbai? Well, very often people will migrate into Mumbai with the thoughts that they can have a better life than they've had in the countryside. And when they arrive, they may not be able to rent a proper home. They may not have the money to do some. And the poorest people in Mumbai are what we call pavement dwellers. And this is half a million people in Mumbai that live on the streets. And you can see different um, versions of this in the photos. These people have no access to basic services such as toilets or water or sanitation. And probably most importantly, they are actually illegal squatters on the land, so they can be moved on at a moment's notice. <coughs> Note the people in the bottom left, um, in the photo in the bottom left. These are people that have sle are sleeping for the night on the street, and they're right next to a road. And every week people are killed in Mumbai because they are um, hit by vehicles that are driving along the road. So a very, very insecure and unsafe way of life. The poorest people of Mumbai also live in slums. Uh, Dharavi is the largest of, of the slums in Mumbai and it's home to one million people. We'll be focusing quite a lot on Dharavi, but there are many other slums in Mumbai as well, um, if you want to find out about those. So what is a slum? Well, a slum is defined as having at least one of the following five conditions. So number one, they live in overcrowded living conditions. Number two, they live in poorly built housing. Many of the houses have no decent front door, so they are very insecure. It means that anybody could break into their house. Numbers three and four, they have a lack of access to sanitation, drainage toilets, 
and also clean water. So most slum houses do not have their own tap and residents actually have to pay to use community taps and toilets um, and the toilets are rarely maintained um, and um, often quite dirty. 70% um, of Mumbai's residents um, will use communal toilets um, and 58% of their houses have no electricity. So in terms of services, they're very, very basic. Again, they have no legal right to live on that piece of land and very often people will uh, bulldoze their home at a moment's notice or, or um, say that they have to pay them a bribe in order to stay living in their home. Another feature of life for the poorest people in Mumbai um, is that they work in the informal economy. This is one which is unofficial and no records are kept. If people work in the informal economy, they work for themselves. This can be seen as good as they don't have to pay taxes, but also bad because they have no contract or employment rights. So if they fall sick, they will not be able to claim any money. And this links to our previous learning in the previous section um, when we looked at informal economies. So what is life like for the middle income people in Mumbai? The middle income people are often referred to as middle class and there is a great variety of um, incomes in this middle section. So at the bottom end, families may still sleep in one room, even if they are middle class. At the top end, they may have a room eat for each child. Most middle class children will attend school. Again, the quality of schooling will uh, vary depending on how much money people have. So if you are very poor, you probably um, go to a government run school and don't pay much or anything. And if you are wealthier, then you may pay for your children to go to a private school, very much like uh, what happens in the UK. Most middle income people in Mumbai will have access to uh, televisions, they may have mobile phones, um, but what you can also see from this photo is that they are very likely to live with um, their relatives. So here it looks like you have a family living with their uh, parents or grandparents. So what about life for the richest people in Mumbai? Well, you may remember that in lesson one, we focused on Mukesh Ambani, who is one of the most um, richest people in the world. A few years ago, he decided to build um, his own house right in the heart of Mumbai. And this was quite controversial because it sticks out as a show of wealth in a city uh, which also has large numbers of poor people. You can see this on the horizon for um, you know, sort of a, a large area. It's now become the most expensive private residence in the world worth one billion. So what is his home like? Well, it has 27 stories in total. The first six floors are reserved for the car parking for the family's cars. Six floors for the, for the cars. There's an entertainment centre, a mini theatre, three helipads, gardens, balconies, ballroom, athletics facilities, swimming pools, and emergency rescue floors. There are two floors for the Ambani's family guests and the place requires 600 full-time staff to keep it running. This shows inside um, a very wealthy person's home in Mumbai um, and what we can see is that it's very similar to um, a wealthy person's house in the UK. And here you can see two different types of housing for wealthy people. You have the tower blocks in the background uh, providing luxury apartments and in the foreground you have low-rise housing. Um, you might be able to spot there in the centre uh, swimming pools which look like they are communally owned. And here we have a gated community in Mumbai. So there are many communities throughout the world, in the US um, and in other countries that have gates uh, which will uh, mean that not everybody can enter uh, the community. They keep out the undesirables. 
And inside this one, you can do a number of very luxurious things like play in the water park, relax in the spa, um, eat in the restaurants and exercise in the gym. So a very, very um, posh way of life for those people that can afford it. Now it's time to choose two tasks for the week. Um, again, going from left to right, they be get, become more challenging. Um, if you are going for one of the top grades, please aim for the final column on the right. Um, and the tasks look at uh, the poorest people on the, on the left, middle income, and then the wealthiest uh, people in the middle. And here to finish are the textbook pages that you could use. Uh, what you can see is that there is a box for each of the different um, income groups. So the bottom or the poorest people on the left hand side, life in the middle and life near the top for the wealthiest. Thank you very much. Uh, please, as you have done in the last two weeks, send um, some evidence of your work to your class teacher. Thank you.